Hey, this is Amir. We're going to do question number 10. Which of the following best characterizes the development of Major Talbot's attitude toward Henry Hopkins Hargraves? If you recall, in the, when we uh, read for the main idea, in this part, we kind of said, hey, the Major kind of didn't like him at first, but then kind of was a fan of him. So if we go in more detail from lines 75 through 90, and if you see here, it says characterizes the development of Major Talbot's attitude, indicating that there was some sort of change. So let's take a look at this. For a time, the Major showed an inclination to discourage. He was inclined to discourage, so not a fan, the advances of the play actor, as he privately termed him. But soon the young man's agreeable manner and indubitable position, appreciation of the old gentleman's stories completely won him over. And then it goes on. It was not long before the uh, two were like old chums. So then they became really good friends. The major set apart each afternoon to read him the manuscript of his book. During the anecdotes, Hargrave never failed to laugh at exactly the right point. The major was moved to declare to his daughter one day that young Hargraves possessed remarkable perception and a gratifying respect for the old regime. And when it came to talking of the old days, if Major Talbot liked to talk, Mr. Hargraves was entranced to listen. So this kind of goes on. Really, it's right here. First, inclined to discourage advances, wasn't a big fan of him, but then... Henry Hopkins Hargraves completely won him over and they became really, really good friends. So that's our answer. Notice how we're following the steps. We read the question, we ignored the answer choices. We went to and referred to the passage to find the answer. Now we're gonna come back to the answer choices and focus on poking holes through the answer choices. So focus on getting rid of the wrong ones. So. Let's look at A. Talbot liked Hargraves from the start. Okay, automatically it's wrong because even if part of it is wrong, the whole thing is wrong. He never liked Hargraves from the start. He wasn't a fan from the beginning, so we can get rid of it. Um, we don't really need to read the rest, but due to Hargraves' humility and even temper. Well, this part is wrong, so A is wrong. B. Talbot at first resisted Hargraves' attempts. Okay. He wasn't a fan in the beginning to befriend him, but later changed his mind. Okay, this one works. So let's move on. We want to kill the wrong ones. Talbot doubted Hargrave's sincerity, but private. Talbot doubted Hargrave's sincerity. Sincerity. So his ability to tell the truth, his honesty. It doesn't say anything about Major Talbot being skeptical of Hargrave's ability to tell the truth or his honesty. This could be interpreted though by us. It's like, oh, he, he wasn't a fan. Maybe he wasn't a fan because Hargraves was dishonest, but it doesn't say that. So this one is wrong. It doesn't say anywhere in the passage that Talbot had any doubts about Hargrave's sincerity, honesty, or anything like that, uh, but privately admired Hargrave's storytelling abilities. Well. This is wrong too, but especially in the beginning. If you find any error, the whole answer choice is wrong. D, Talbot enjoyed Hargrave's company when they first met, but later became convinced that their friendship was built on false pretenses. Again, this is kind of a 180 answer choice. It's pretty much the opposite of what we said. He was at first not a fan, but then kind of became a fan of Henry Hopkins Hargraves. This is kind of putting it in reverse. So the SAT likes to do that, and they also like to do uh, things like, you know, put small things that are wrong um, here. So that's why C and A are wrong. So the right answer is B.